Hey folks, Joseph A. Sabora here, and here we go, my trailer reaction to the new Ghostbusters film that's co-written and directed by Paul Feig, and stars Marissa McCarthy, Kristen Wiig, Kate McKinnon, Leslie Jones, with Charles Dance, been best known for films like The Golden Child and Last Action Hero, Michael Kenneth Williams, and Chris Hemsworth who played four. Now, I've been a huge fan of Ghostbusters ever since I was a kid. I always enjoy watching the first movie along with the second film, which I have right here on this awesome Blu-ray set that I picked up during Black Friday in 2014. Yes. And this is indeed the real Ghostbusters, right there. Yeah, yeah. With this awesome, okay. All in this awesome digi book. Okay. Yes. <laughs> and this is one awesome digi book of the first two films mastered in 4k the transfer looks even better than before has tons of great special features and it has a book to go with it hence digi book so if you haven't picked this up already check it out at your local store in fact get the one with the gift set that includes the slimer statue which sadly I didn't get that one but seeing how much it cost I had to go with this one because of it but hey it's still worth it and and being a Ghostbusters fan I always loved the real Ghostbusters TV animated series from the 80's they had this one box set that has uh, a huge Ghostbusters headquarters Yeah very expensive to own. It was released by Star Vista and Time Life. You can still get that today. And of course there's Extreme Ghostbusters which had a female Ghostbuster. There's nothing wrong with that. And it's good to have a female Ghostbuster nowadays. I just wish they had worked together exactly what Extreme Ghostbusters really was at the time but I, I didn't mind the series even though it's not as good as the real Ghostbusters but hey it's still worth it yep Ghostbusters was so popular that it had lots of action figures t-shirts as well as comic books you name it tons of Ghostbusters merchandising and of course who couldn't forget high C ecto cooler drink which is finally making its return in stores after all these years which I'm very excited about because that's one of my favorite drinks growing up yeah I who could have forget the the juice box that has a picture of the animated Slimer from the real Ghostbusters <laughs> yeah even that classic high C logo too Oh man, I can't wait to finally try that drink again because it was awesome. But anyway, now that they're finally bringing it back for the new movie, here's my trailer reaction of the trailer that just came out today. Now, for better or worse, good or bad, I'm willing to take the risk to see this film in theaters. But I'll try to see how well it turns out. However, the trailer deserves better. There are some good moments here, such as the first couple seconds of the opening where we show a beautiful shot of New York City, as well as a perfectly good shot of, of the Ghostbusters headquarters that's already vacant, as we know it. And they also had a graffiti of the Ghostbusters logo at the New York subway tunnel. And it even says that 30 years ago, 
Forest scientists had saved New York City, but now there's a new team coming around. And yep, that's where we introduce us to three characters, you know, all female, played by Marissa McCarthy, Kristen Wiig, and Kate McKinnon, doing a whole familiar scene from the original Ghostbusters. You know what I'm talking about, the library scene, where we see a ghost woman scaring them off. You know, scaring Peter, Ray, and Egon at the Columbia University Library. Here, we get a ghost woman bombing slime. Wow, that's how you start your trailer, right? <laughs> Yeah, they, they sure have come up with some lame jokes that they put into it. We now introduce us, not only all these three characters, but we get uh, Leslie Jones to join in, basically playing the Winston character. She also did a scene that's uh, very similar to Ghostbusters 2, you know, where we spot all the ghosts inside the New York subway tunnel. Um which I know we saw Winston getting run over by a ghost train, but this one we just saw Leslie Jones' character you know, spotting all these ghosts around. And then he also, she also introduced us to the Hearst, which is a Cadillac. Yeah, that's where we saw the new Ecto-1. I didn't mind the new Ecto-1 that they chose. It has that classic look to it. I mean, it's not as good as the original Ecto-1 that we had, but there you go. And then we get to see all the female cast dressed up in newly designed Ghostbusters proton pack and clothes. <sighs> yep. There was a small shot of Chris Hemsworth playing the Jenny's role. You know, already getting himself suited up. We also saw a small shot of the new Slimer. Wow, <laughs> so it's good to see that we have Slimer again. And then there's a scene where Marissa McCarthy was being possessed by a ghost, which is a reference to the Exorcist. They even throw in the original line, The power of Christ compels you! The power of Christ compels you! Which, <laughs> Leslie Jones just bitch slaps Mercer McCarthy by saying the line just as the ghost finally passed out. And then we also saw Mercer McCarthy's head turning. Just like in The Exorcist. Oh, brother. I don't know. I had the feeling that this movie is going to be awful. And it's just the first trailer. But, at the same time, I'm going to find out what it's going to be, because I think this movie deserves better. I mean, there's nothing wrong with having a female cast. It just seems more like a bitch slap in the face to the original, which had better characters, better special effects, better scenes, and... Better lines of dialogue all the way around. This one seems more generic, like pretty much like today's comedies. I mean, it's pre basically, it feels more like something out of Bridesmaids. But Bridesmaids dressed up in Ghostbusters suits with proton packs fighting ghosts the entire city of New York. <sighs> I don't know. I love Paul Feig. I do respect him as a writer, director, and producer. But let's face it, he deserved better. As for Mercer McCarthy, Kate McKinnon, Kristen Wiig, and Leslie Jones, well, they're fine, great actresses, but given the material that they have, I 
I think it would have been a lot better if they just went to a whole different level. Why can't they just work together with the original Ghostbusters team? That would have made the film a whole lot better. It would have been the perfect third sequel to Ghostbusters. My only chance is that I would love to see the original cast again. I mean, I know Harold Ramis is no longer with us. And it is a shame that, that the original cast will, might make some cameo appearances in the film, even though I heard that Dan Aykroyd might not appear. But I love Ghostbusters. I grew up with it. I just feel like this is not going to be a good film. And it shows. I mean, sure, we had the Ghostbusters video game, which I know some people are saying, oh, it's Ghostbusters 3. It's the official one. To me, it's just a video game. I mean, sure, it may feel like a Ghostbusters 3, but it isn't. It's basically a tribute to the first two films. It does have the Stay Puff Marshmallow Man, as well as the Beagle. So, what's the point? <laughs> exactly, what's the point? It just feels uh, like we waited too long just for that. I think they should have just made this movie back in the 90s, where everything did make sense. And who knows what people would might think about that then. Because I don't know. I would have liked it a lot better if it was made with the original cast. I mean, it's just sad that Harold Ramis is no longer with us, so we no longer will be able to see Egon. Bill Murray just doesn't seem to care. I mean, he didn't even want to be in this movie. But it seems to me like he decided to join in as a cameo. So... Uh, I know that sucks. Even Dan Aykroyd didn't want to be in this now. Even though he wanted to do this film. For a very long time. I'm just... It's just sad. It really is. I don't know. But we'll see once this movie comes out on July 15, 2016. So... That's my reaction to the trailer of the new Ghostbusters reboot. I'm Joseph A. Sabora, and I'll see you later. Bye.